Yo, what's up, everybody? What's up, you too? And Bad Wolf, another video. And, and, um, they don't do video every day for y'all, so. Okay. Thank y'all for supporting my channel, and, you know, thank y'all for everything, you know, my subscribers and, you know, everything. But, yeah, I'm willing to drop more videos, um, the new content. Probably, um, I say I probably drop, you know, some here and there, but. Yeah, I try to make sure I get, you know, more people, so, but, um, yeah, man, make sure y'all, you know, always, you know, support my channel and my content, so, so thank y'all for that, so. For the video I'm talking about today is my take on about R. Kelly's situation and why he's incarcerated, you know, the video is about R. Kelly and why he's in that tough situation, so, here we go. Okay, R. Kelly is the most talented R.B. singer of all time. So I believe he's in a tough situation to where R. Kelly might be doing life in prison. And people say that he might do 10 years for um to life if he's uh, charged and convicted of sexual abuse. I said the woman that you know they accused him of um, of him sexually molesting them. I said when that was uh, underage, so at the time. But wait, um, you know, I said but what would have made the case get bigger because they paid him as a child predator or child molester. But some of the people that I spoke out about the abuse that I kept, uh, uh, you know, that suffered and, and um, how Kelly made them have sex with him and how he made them starve and all that type of stuff. But so I know he's. So I know the case is not looking good for a killer, man. But, so I, but I feel like if you're a man who's rich, you know. Who is a rich superstar with a lot of money and a lot of power, a lot of control? Is that so people might be untouchable though? But I feel like Killer was, I say, I feel like he was kind of much more untouchable though because he got a lot of money, you know, a lot of fame, a lot of um, you know, Roddy, Is that you know, but you know, for my know that you know, if he's a uh, you know, a obviously with a lot of money, Is that people probably might not know if he's a child predator, though, Is that. He had several young girls, probably when they were 14, 15 years old, and he, you know, tried to hide it from the media. So, like, for nobody, um, think about, um, hold on, yeah, yeah. For nobody, him and, you know, um, um, Aaliyah, yeah. If I know about the past, about, uh, him and, um, in, um, him and the, um, uh, late single, Aaliyah, yeah, she was, um, dating him in the past, you know. Back in the nineties, you know, when um I believe she was about yeah, I think that she was probably about fifteen years old and he was about, about twenty six six seven, twenty eight years old, twenty six, I don't know what what age, but so I feel like Kelly had, you know, kinda dealt with young girls in his past, you know, and how trying to hide it from the people. So I feel like all oh, killers in bad space right now, or when he, you know, might do time in prison for sexually um abusing them. So, I feel like if you were a guy who just rich, you know, why would you stop your um, ways, you know, or how people might do stuff in the past that wasn't right and how they make it time forward and how they might cut. Co- so, I feel like he was, I said very much a touch of it and how he's a you know, rich superstar, how basically he made, you know, a couple songs and albums in the past and how he just... You know, a typical guy, but so I feel like karma is the way that it can really can't uh, can catch up with, uh, with you though. You know, like things can't really catch up with you though. Especially like you doing wrong in your life, things might be bad. You know, you might get get you know the past done to you. Means that karma can be a number one way to where the past can't come back to hunt you though. How a killer life is now is how he's in a deep deep space. You know. A tough space of that, you know, on how, you know, on how that might give give him ten years to like to do, you know, in prison if he's, you know, child with um sex abusing these type of um women in the world, how, you know, on how they trying to paint him as a bad person. So I feel like I would not support somebody who's just a child molester at all, you know. I don't care if you're rich or not, man. I would not support somebody who's a child molester though. Somebody who must be kids. You know, young girls like that, man. But 
So I feel like, oh, you no, know, he's a, you know, so I feel like he's in the bad space right now to win, you know. I heard online, I heard um, on YouTube, y'all watch on Kelly's um, child videos on YouTube how some um, dude who's probably young at the time, probably 17 years old, so I believe he was working at McDonald's too on the page, you know. So I think he made y'all kill it in the um, drive through. I think he met him. You know, then I kill it, had, you know, gave him his number, you know. So he had told the people that our killer had, uh, you know, try to meet up with him, and somehow this dude had told the trial, you know, everybody that, you know, that our killer trying to, you know, I said give advice about his uncle Rear and how he trying to break the music industry though, and how how he had told everybody that our killer trying to have sister with him. And dude probably young at the time to when, you know, I kept probably into dudes. I don't know, I guess he into dudes or he bisexual, but so I feel like our Kelly had kind of groove him, you know, trying like, you know, trying to groove him to have sit with him. So I feel like he trying to like Yeah I, <laughs> yeah, I feel like he trying to groom the uh, man to have sit with him and how he trying to use the dude for his own sexual um pleasure, but so I think he trying to make him jack off or give him fellatio. I think you know Killer was a dude that she liking both girls and boys. I don't know. <laughs> so I feel like this is more, more yeah, I feel like he's the most most um creepiest guy I ever um heard on you know on how he's a creep guy. Yeah, try I kinda of more creepy trial, you know, it kinda of tripped me out though how uh, Kelly is the most Creepiest singers out here who just prey on girls and young boys. You know, I feel like he's a a child predator, child um whatever they call him. But so if it's true, you you know I would not support him at all, man. I can't support anybody who do this. You know, I see young kids now, young um boys and girls. I say. I still get more mature ties to the fact that like some of you um young boys and girls get molested every single year by young adults, you know, adults who are probably older, like probably in the fifties and fifty um I said probably in the fifties and forties, thirties and twenties, like some young kids get you know getting touched on molested by young old people, so so I feel like you know Kelly, he's the most um guy who is in bad space right now. And how the trial is gonna get bigger, and how they're gonna, you know, try and give him ten years to life to do in prison. You know, if he gets charged with type of crime, means that he might do twenty years of, of life. You know, so I believe they might give uh, a child child predator life in prison, or somebody who is child predator, a child molester, means that they might give him life in prison for that right though. So I believe it's a type of um a federal uh. Trial. So I think it's about <clears throat> yeah, I think his trial or case is kind of kind of more federal and how uh Kelly might do some time, you know, in in joint though. If he you know gets convicted for it, yeah, I feel she, you know, could have stopped the ways, you know. So I feel like he could, you know, have stopped for what he was doing at the time and how he, you know. I don't know. I think somebody who just kind of, you know, hard headed. Somebody can't stop messing with young girls, young boys. I don't know. They kind of sick in the head. You know, they kind of sick, disturbing people. So I just feel like our killer was the one that's, you know, always, you know, untouchable in how he, you know, could have just left the, you know, left the young boy, young girls alone, man. So, <laughs> so I think he's in a bad situation to win, you know. Yeah, he might do a time prison, life prison, or 10 years. So I know it might give him that time, but so I say keep your head up, I kill him, man. Hope you, you know, um do right this time, but so, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to peace. I'm gonna take care.